in witnessing you and your colleagues, it's very clear that civility is the hallmark of the Supreme Court. It defines its, its culture. Despite your disparate views on things, you respect one another. But civility is manifestly lacking in American society today. How does America become a more civil society? Would it uh, benefit us all to become a little more deaf? <laughs> Let me say something about civility at the court. It is the most collegial place I have ever worked. One symbol of it is Every day before we sit to hear cases and every day before we confer on cases, we go around the conference room, each justice shakes hands with every other, and that's the way of saying, yes, you, you circulated a pretty spicy dissent yesterday from my excellent majority opinion, but we're all in this together and we know that the institution we serve is ever so much more important than our individual egos. So to make it work, we have to not just tolerate, but gen genuinely appreciate each other. Now, we've seen a high degree of polarization in recent years. Yes, that's true. But if you think back to 1993, the year that President Clinton nominated me for the good job I now hold for 27 years. Um, I had spent 10 years of my life uh, helping to organize and then um, superintending the ACLU's Women's Rights Project. And I was one of four general counsel to the ACLU. The vote for my confirmation was 96 to 3, and no one raised a question about my ACLU affiliation. Not one. In the next year, when President Clinton nominated Stephen Breyer, it was the same way. Overwhelming approval of the nomination. My hope is that someday there will be Patriots on both sides of the aisle who, who are determined to stop the dysfunction we are now experiencing and who will decide that their institution of government should work for the benefit of all of the people. <laughs>